Lily and her friends were spending a lazy afternoon by the hidden waterfall when they decided to build a boat out of leaves found scattered on the ground. The idea quickly turned into a fun-filled adventure as they gathered as many leaves as they could find and carefully pieced them together to create a small boat. When the boat was finally complete, they set it afloat in the creek, watching it ride the current towards the waterfall. As it went over the edge, they all let out a whoop of excitement and eagerly followed it, jumping in the water and splashing around. The cool water enveloped them, refreshing against the warmth of the sun. It was a perfect day for swimming, and the waterfall only added to the fun, as the rushing water created a natural water slide perfect for sliding down. Lily and her friends marveled at the beauty of the waterfall as they climbed up and down, exploring every nook and cranny of the natural wonder. They swam, laughed, and played, having the time of their lives. As the sun began to set, they reluctantly made their way back to the shore, tired but happy. They all sat around on the rocks, enjoying the sounds of the cascading water and the serenity of the forest. The boat they built had long since disappeared, but the memory of their adventure would last forever. It was a day filled with laughter, friendship, and the beauty of nature, and they knew that they would always come back to this special place. Lily and her friends were always up for an adventure, and building a boat out of leaves and playing in the waterfall was a thrilling experience for them. It was the perfect way to spend a lazy afternoon, surrounded by nature's beauty and spending time with good friends. As they pieced together their leaf boat, they couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement building inside them. They laughed and joked as they meticulously placed each leaf, eager to see how it would turn out. When they finally set the boat afloat and watched it glide towards the waterfall, their excitement peaked. They knew that they were embarking on a daring adventure, and the prospect of seeing the waterfall up close filled them with a sense of awe and wonder. As they jumped into the cool water and swam towards the waterfall, they felt a joyous sense of play and freedom. The natural water slide created by the waterfall was an exhilarating ride, and they couldn't help but let out thunderous shrieks of joy as they slid down. The world around them became a blur as they splashed and played in the water, fully immersed in the moment. The time seemed to fly by, and before they knew it, the sun was beginning to set, casting a warm glow over the waterfall and the surrounding trees. As they made their way back to shore, shivering with cold and exhaustion, they couldn't help but feel grateful for the adventure they had just experienced. They were elated by the thrill of discovery and the joy of play, and they couldn't wait to come back to the waterfall and build another boat, or to find a new adventure somewhere else in the great outdoors. For Lily and her friends, this was an experience they would always remember, a day filled with laughter, fun, and the beauty of nature. Lily was walking down the path by her house one day when something caught her eye. A small door, barely visible, was partially obscured by overgrown vines that had snaked their way across the path. Curiosity getting the better of her, she pushed aside the vines to see what lay beyond. To her amazement, she found herself in a beautiful garden that was unlike anything she had ever seen before. The air was perfumed with the sweet scent of flowers, and everywhere she turned she saw vibrant colors and lush greenery. As she wandered deeper into the garden, she came across a particularly stunning array of flowers. They were unlike any flowers she had ever seen, they seemed to glow softly in the sun, their petals catching the light in a way that made them look almost otherworldly. Lily had never felt anything like it before. She felt like she had stumbled upon a secret world, a world of beauty and magic that was hidden away from the rest of the world. For hours she wandered through the garden, marveling at the beauty of the flowers and taking note of the details she saw around her. She noticed the bees buzzing from flower to flower, the way the sunlight filtered through the leaves of the trees, and the gentle rustling of the leaves in the breeze. Finally, she realized that it was time to go. She slowly made her way back through the garden, pausing at the door to take one last look at the garden before stepping back out into the real world. As she walked back to her home, she felt a sense of joy and wonder that she had never felt before. She knew that she had discovered something truly special, something that would stay with her for the rest of her life. This hidden garden was her own personal sanctuary, a little piece of magic that she would keep close to her heart forever. 
Lily discovered a hidden garden and as she entered its verdant walls, the atmosphere of the place overwhelmed her. The sweet fragrance of blooming flowers filled the air. The warm sun shone down through the boughs of the trees, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. For Lily, it was like stepping into the pages of a fairy tale. As she walked deeper into the garden, the path narrowed, and overgrown foliage brushed her arms. She turned a corner and found herself in an open clearing that was filled with flowers, all arranged in an intricate pattern. There were tulips, daisies, and irises of multiple colors, each flower more beautiful than the last. Lily felt the soft petals brushing against her fingers as she traversed around the patchwork of flowers. A few minutes further down the path, a fountain that was hidden behind a bush came into sight. Water bubbled steadily, creating a serene tranquil atmosphere, enhanced by the flowers surrounding it. As she stood still and took in all the beauty around her, Lily heard a rustling. To her surprise, an old man came into view. He must have been the caretaker and guardian of the garden, Lily thought to herself. The old man, whose face was lined with age and wisdom, gave Lily a soft smile of welcome. What a pleasant surprise, he said as he approached her. It's so rare to see visitors in these parts of the garden. Handing her a watering can, he invited her to join in caring for the flowers, which gave the garden its glory. The old man was knowledgeable about all the beautiful flora in the garden and Lily listened with fascination to all the facts he shared. As they tended the flowers together, the old man shared stories of his adventures in life and expressed how much love and tenderness had gone into the creation of this garden. Lily started to understand how kindness and generosity could bring joy to the world and how love, care and attention made things more beautiful. When it neared evening, Lily thanked the old man for his time and the knowledge he had imparted to her. Before leaving, she had a sense of happiness having spent a part of her day in the care of the garden and the friendly old man. The beautiful garden and the humble old caretaker had taught her the essence of kindness and how being true to oneself in the care for nature can bring joy to oneself and others. From that day forward, Lily always had a smile on her face remembering her little adventure in the hidden garden. Lily was walking through the woods when she noticed an old, gnarly tree with a trunk so wide that it would take three people holding hands to wrap their arms around it. The bark was rough and thick, and the branches twisted and curled upward toward the canopy. She approached the tree curiously, fascinated by its beauty and magnificence. As she looked closer, she noticed a small opening between two roots where the soil was loose and the grass had worn down. Lily realized that this small space could be the perfect home for a number of creatures living nearby. She decided to gather flowers from the surrounding area and create a bouquet, hoping to bring a bit of joy to the animals. She plucked bright yellow daisies, plump purple lupins, and delicate pink carnations from the soft ground. Once she had enough, she carefully arranged them in her hands into a beautiful bouquet. The colors were soft and vibrant, and the sweet perfume of the flowers filled the air around her. Looking up into the tree's branches, she searched for a suitable spot to rest the bouquet. High above, she noticed a low-hanging branch that looked perfect for her purpose. She climbed up carefully and, once she reached the branch, secured the bouquet to a curved twig. As she descended the tree, Lily felt a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. She had given her gift to the forest and all its creatures, and now they would be able to enjoy the flower's beauty and scent. The next day, she returned to the area near the tree, hoping to see some sign of animal life that had happened upon her gift. As she approached the tree, she saw a group of small birds landing on the branch of the tree where she had left the bouquet. They chirped and sang as they flew back and forth, just inches from the flowers. Looking closer, she saw a small chipmunk perched on the edge of the branch, nibbling on one of the flowers. It looked up and met Lily's eyes, and then scurried off the branch. As she scanned the ground, she saw a family of rabbits nibbling on some clovers that were scattered around the flowers. Lily smiled with satisfaction as she watched the forest come to life. She had brought life and joy to the animals that lived there and had made a small difference in the forest's ecosystem. She left with a light heart, knowing that the bouquet on that tree would continue to bring joy to the forest's inhabitants for a long time to come. 
Lily had always believed in the power of kindness. It was something that had been instilled in her from a young age by her parents, who had always taught her to treat others the way she wanted to be treated. It was a lesson that she had carried with her throughout her life and it was one that she was reminded of on this particular day when she left a bouquet on a tree in the forest. As she walked through the woods, she enjoyed the peaceful quiet and the beauty of nature. She saw the birds soaring in the sky and heard the rustle of the leaves in the trees. She came across an old tree that she knew was home to many creatures, and it struck her that she could share her love of nature with these animals in a simple way. She gathered flowers from around the woods and arranged them into a beautiful bouquet. She secured it to a branch on the old tree and left it there, knowing that the animals who called this place home would enjoy it as much as she did. The next day, she returned to the tree to see what had happened to her bouquet. She was overjoyed to see that it was surrounded by various creatures of the forest. The chipmunks, squirrels, and rabbits were nibbling on the flowers, while the birds perched nearby watching curiously. As Lily watched the animals, she realized that her act of kindness had made a difference, not just to these creatures but to herself as well. She felt a sense of contentment and peace that she had never felt before. She began to understand the power of simple acts of kindness and love and how they could make a difference in the world. Lily knew that it was important to show love and kindness to all creatures, no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. It was a lesson that she would carry with her always and one that she would continue to pass on to others. As she continued her walk through the woods, Lily smiled to herself, feeling grateful for the opportunity to share her love of nature and kindness with the world. She knew that it wasn't just about the bouquet or the animals, but about the power of kindness to change the world, one small act at a time.